So if we do a recap of the key things uh, that you need to do, if you want to debug an application for GPUs, first of all, well, you need to compile your code for debugging. This doesn't change. Uh, the thing is you need to add the dash capital G option uh, when you want to debug this. Uh, again, you can use low uh, optimization flags for more intuitive debugging, and you need to load the right environment. If there is a mismatch between the CUDA toolkit that you're using and the CUDA driver that you're using, then you need to export this environment variable before you start the job. This can be checked very easily if you do an NVCC dash dash version. What you see here is that it's returning uh, release 6.5, but the drivers that are installed on PSDint are the CUDA drivers 7.0, in which case I do need this environment variable. Once you've done this, uh, you can submit your jobs uh, as you did last time. So you install the remote client on your laptop, uh, you connect to PSDint, uh, and you prefix uh, the API run command with ddt dash dash connect, and you submit your job as usual, and this will work very, very well. So the next episode, uh, this is still to be defined, so we do not have a date yet, but this is something we'll work on with uh, Jean-Guillaume. Uh, the objective will be to deep dive inside memory debugging. Uh, so the proposed topics that we're going to see is, first of all, understand a bit more in details what are the memory debugging options. So I have very briefly introduced them uh, during this webinar, showing you how to not change them but uh, we will discuss them in more details, explaining what they do exactly, uh, how they can help. Um, we will see how to crash an application, even if it's working fine, how to detect memory leaks. So there are different types of memory leaks. So we will be looking at dangling pointers. Uh, we'll be also looking at other types of leaks uh, during this webinar. And um, if you have any other topic, please feel free to indicate uh, what you want to see. So we're always uh, interested in your opinion. So at the moment, uh, we had a small discussion with Jean Guillaume. Basically, uh, memory debugging is uh, one core aspect. Another topic we would like to see is about uh, large scale debugging. Uh, what are the features in Alimea DDT that can help you uh, debug large scale application and make it easier uh, to find bugs? Uh, we can have a look at comparative debugging as well, how to do this. And again, if there is anything special you would like to. to to see, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. So thank you very much, everyone, for uh, your attention. Thank you very much for your time. This video has been recorded, so I, I will put it online. If you have any question, uh, please do not hesitate.